Welcome back. South Carolina Democrats are ramping up their voter turnout efforts ahead of their February 3rd presidential primary. That's in less than two months when it'll be the first time the state's Democratic presidential primary is first in the nation. State House reporter Mary Green has the details. While there will be three candidates on the ballot for South Carolina's Democratic presidential primary, President Joe Biden is expected to win. Not only is he the sitting president, but the state has also been friendly territory for him. But the state party and the DNC are partnering for a six figure investment to get voters to the polls for that primary, which they say is about long term success. We can't uh, take anybody for granted. Uh, I think uh, the stakes are so high in this election coming up because democracy is on the ballot. The party is hiring at what they say is an unprecedented level for this type of push. Around 50 staffers, including regional directors and one specifically for college campuses. The Get Out the Vote campaign will include events across the state, phone and online voter outreach and a bus tour. This will be the start of our work for November and elections beyond. The DNC selected South Carolina to be the first state on its presidential nomination calendar for 2024, but it also said that calendar isn't necessarily permanent and will be reevaluated every four years. The South Carolina Democratic Party says this new push is about keeping the voices of black, rural and southern voters at the fore for future elections. This is about centering the voters who make up our extremely diverse electorate. We're putting Democrats front and center and making sure they know that the state party is committed to providing them with the information needed to vote and have their voice heard in this process. DNC chair Jamie Harrison, a South Carolinian himself and former state party chair, says he's confident with this plan. South Carolina will get the turnout necessary to show the rest of the country that it's deserving of its first in the nation slot in the future. There is no other state that has a better track record of picking the eventual nominee for the Democratic Party than South Carolina. So given that track record, doesn't it deserve to, to, to get an opportunity to be first? State Party Chair Crystal Spain says she expects President Biden will be here in the Palmetto State campaigning at some point between now and the February 3rd primary. Reporting Columbia, I'm Mary Green. President Biden will be on South Carolina's ballot along with Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips and Marianne Williamson.